Hey guys, so now we've done the content, we've engaged and we've brought that traffic to us and we own it. We now have to do something with it. And this is where the next stage of the process comes into it. This is the nurture phase. And it's probably one of my favorites. With my background in marketing automation and processes, I absolutely love this because I always see it as a very step-by-step -step process. Now, for me, it all stems from a, a thing that Google did years ago, and they came out with this ideal formula for winning new business, and it's called 7 4 That's the formula. It's seven hours of content in 11 different touch points in four different locations. So this doesn't mean that you literally have to spend seven hours with people talking their ear off. No, what it actually means is that because of the content that we've created and we've generated to get that engagement, we now better use it to nurture people. And this is where people always fall down because the, the nurturing phase could be the sales process or the funnels, whatever you want to uh, call it. But actually, it is about having that process. I've worked with businesses where their entire sales process was five phone calls. Five phone calls over the course of a week. And if you didn't buy from them by the end of the week, that was it. You were dead to them. Literally, they would delete your record and move on. The whole point of nurturing is like I've said in other videos, and I continually say it all the time, is that nobody buys from you straight away. In fact, the statistic is that 93% of people that come to your website right now are not ready to buy from you. So what does that mean? It means we have to nurture them and we have to take the time to effectively get them up to that buying zone. And you've got to think of it like a pressure gauge. So we've got to use that seven hours of content, the 11 touch points, whether those are phone calls, social media, videos, emails, all different things, the four different locations. They're commuting to work when they're at home, when they're sat at their desk in the office, they should be working, but they're checking out social media. All those different things all attribute or all, all contribute to the 7-Eleven 4 process and about nurturing those people. Because once we get them up to that buy-in zone, we've done our job. We then have to do the final thing, which is get them to transact. But we've got them to know us, to like us, to trust us, and they're ready to buy from us because we've built that relationship. We've nurtured it along. And this doesn't just go for turning prospects into customers. This also goes for once they have become a customer, onboarding them and actually retaining them so that we can upsell them other products and services later. Nurturing is the biggest element of the scent process and it's for good reason. It contributes to everything across the files. So if you want to know a bit more, then make sure you do book in a phone call and a free review of the whole process.